whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a bit of a strange whiskey on my cask. It's called the No Man Outland Whiskey Triple Cask Reserve. Reserve, 10 years old triple cask. Yeah, it's a whiskey created by Richard Patterson. Peterson? I think it's Richard Patterson. And it's a five to nine year old Scottish single malts and grains, a blend of that. And then they've been actually transported to Spain and matured in 30 year old Oloroso and PX sherry casks. And yeah, that is um, uh, not a scotch because scotch has to be matured in Scotland and bottled in Scotland to be a scotch. So there's nowhere written scotch on it, but that also means the other scotch laws don't apply. So if you marry five to nine year old um, Scottish whiskey and then mature it for one year, it's a marriage between six and 10 year old Scottish whiskey. And that would then in Scotland be a six year old whiskey. Here it says 10, I'm not quite sure where the information came from, uh, my people did the research uh, that it's a marriage between five to nine, so maybe that's wrong, or maybe it's just in Spain they write the oldest number on it. So we, we don't know. Is it a 10 year old? Is it a six year old? Yeah, it's a mixture between six and 10 year old, or at least 10 or six years old. That we, that we can say for sure. Um, yeah, that's a nice bottle. Let me show you the bottle before I open it. It's it's very it's a, a thin bottle, very wide, and here the the box is very shiny and uh, yeah golden. And yeah, let's have a look what's what's inside. It's uh, uh I've told you already about the maturation. It costs around seventy bucks, and it's forty-three point one percent ABV. Hmm. Oh, already very strong uh, odors from from. Yeah, that is a lot of sherry in there, and a lot of oak. So sherry, dried fruits, typical sherry, sherry whiskey. Unfortunately, we don't know where the most of the Scottish single malts have been matured before. Mm. Relatively sweet, but a lot of dried fruits. So it really, it really feels a, bit, a little bit like a, a, yeah, a fruit market from Turkey or something like that, where you have tons of dates and figs and raisins and all that kind of stuff mm, really feels like that oh. mm. Mm. Oh, mm, I guess they left a bit of a residual uh, if they don't, if, if you empty in sherry cask, you can empty it to the last drop, or you can just dump it in. When it's when it's gone, you don't shake it; you just put the bung back in, and there's still some left in there. And I think that is the way they do it here because it has a very, very distinct sherry flavor. Or it was just very uh, strong sherries that have been in the cask. Maybe they just had really, really good casks, and it's a Oh, very oxidized. So this is a strong sherry, a very classical sherry. Even I smell, from what I remember, I had sherry tasting. There's always that event going on that gives you the sherry to what the whiskey has been matured in. And that really reminds me a little bit about that sherry minus the, the sticky notes to it. Because if you try a sherry, they are so incredibly sweet. They just taste so much like sugar. Mm. Mm. And that's what I love about the, the sherry whiskies. You have the, the flavors from the sherry, but in a in a intensity that is manageable minus the cubes of sugar that have just been compressed into the glass. For me, the sherry is just 
over the top with sugary sweetness. Can be good sometimes. What is strange here is some, it feels like, a, actually feels like a little bit of like an amontillado as well, because it has that, a little bit of a caramelized burnt flavor um, with it. Mm. Strangely enough, although it says Oloroso PX and I just go in the other direction, but that is the perception that everybody has. You might have a very different perception to what I feel in the cask. What I can say for sure is strong sherry influence, strong, strong, strong sherry influence. It costs around seven euros in Europe, um, should be then, well, I don't know, 65, $67 um, dollars in the States. And it's a, a nice kind of bottle. How old is it? I don't know. Is it worth it? I would say that's a nice whiskey. If you like your sherry and you like your sherry old, then yeah, that would be a good thing for you. Yeah, that was my review with the Nomad Outland 10 years old triple cask reserve. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.